don't think there's anything else over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and warp over to the uh, round tower. Cause I'm actually gonna go. I'm actually gonna make my way back up to the um, tower where we fought Harriet. Because on that, because there's actually something that we can do now that, now that Harriet's defeated. Uh, one of which is over here. Uh, if we go behind this place, you can get a few purple coins. Uh, and then there's a, a little Jaxie sign. So I'm gonna call Jaxie. And here he is. And uh, hopefully I don't fall off because it's easy to do that. And there we go. I know this place, but my days of standing around are done. <coughs> Alright, welcome back, Jaxie. Okay. Uh, next thing. That we, next up off, off on the roster. Uh, where are we fought Hi Harriet? There's something moving. Oh gosh! Boom! You can stun this thing to make to make catching this thing easier. Okay, that didn't work. And but what? What? What is going on? What? How is that not working? Oh my gosh! Please. Thank you! Okay, why didn't that not work earlier? That was so weird. Alright, there we go. Man. Oh well. Alright, this glowing statue reveals another power moon. On the statue's tail. Okay. Now uh, these power lines are now here. Now, now that now that we've uh, completed all of our objectives, so we head this way. Uh, continue heading over here, and we have another tower challenge. So let's go ahead. And, uh, so let's go ahead and take care of it right now. So this actually teaches us how to roll like this. So we can get this power moon. And there we go. Okay. Um. Oh man, there's like so much to do here. Oh, give me those coins. Thank you. Alright. Um. Somewhere around here is a hole. It's a. It is, of course, above, uh. It is, of course, below where this pyramid is. And, by the way, if you ever need to go back, there's a little launch pad that you can see right there. And it'll take you back up, it'll take you back up to the inverted pyramid if you ever need to explore it. These guys are a little bit scared of looking down there. Nope, not going in there. Not me, ever. Couldn't jump in if I wanted to. Well, screw you guys! Commit suicide! And so, uh, we jumped down into where we fought that boss. And, uh, somewhere along the line, here, we have a bunch of zombies! This zombie is important! No! It's glowing! It's a glowing zombie! Okay, okay, I defeated it. Okay, good. Uh, this place is really easy to die because there's zombies everywhere on this platform! Uh, but you want the glowing zombie, which could be in, which could, which is usually around that spot that I just, that, uh, yeah, it's usually around that spot. Uh, but um, uh, multiple zombies can can, can uh, mess you up while, while you're trying to kill the zombie that you that you need to destroy. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. But thankfully that wasn't the case. Okay, so I believe that is all there is left to do around this area. Trying to think. Um, I guess now we can head back to Toast Arena. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, 
Okay, so with Toast Serena, there is a lot that we can do. Uh, one of which being, uh, since it's ice, since the fountain is not frozen, we can go ahead and, and uh, get the um, uh, get those purple coins, and then uh, open up, and then uh, go ahead and uh, open up this, uh, uh, put your hat on the uh, top of the fountain because it's a hat. There's a because this uh, top of the fountain's a little hat. Hang your hat on the fountain. I like that title. All right. Um, I'm gonna worry about. I'm gonna worry about these plants later. Um, actually, hold on. Um, somewhere along the line, I believe it's where. Where? Where is that one place? Okay, it's right here. Okay, go inside this. Go inside this building. And this is a little mini game that we can go ahead and play. Play some slots. It's a toaster in a game. That's winning. That's a winning worldwide frame. It's ten coins to play. All right, a power move can be one, and that's exactly what we want. So, okay, there we go. That's one. A uh, power moon appears after the red heart. Okay, so that's your, that's how you know when a power moon's gonna come out. And there we go. Very awesome. Okay. Finally, um, no, not finally, because uh, we still have, we still have much more to go. Uh, okay, head up here, and if we go ahead and power line all the way to the ruins like this, we can get another power moon on top of the stone archway. Archway. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go and work back to the to Toast Arena because it's just it's just easier that way. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Yes, this this one. Uh, this we see this dog right here. You wanna go ahead and um, follow where the dog is going. Where where are you where are you taking me here? What is this? What are you doing? What do you wanna do here? Eh, eh. Eh. This dog's so cute. I love this dog. It reminds me of my dog. Oh! Oh! Oh, hey! Oh, thank you, puppy! You're a good boy. Good dog. Good doggy. Who's a good little doggy? Okay. Head up here. And uh, then, see, and then this rocket's not frozen anymore, so we can go ahead and use the rocket to blast our way up this way. Okay, so I believe this is where we're gonna find our last purple coin, our last of our purple coins here, so let's go ahead and, uh, uh, and uh, pick them up here. Uh, you're gonna have to go through this area without, without your hat, so um, Cappy's not gonna be with us at all, so we cannot defeat these Goombas very easily. We cannot actually control them either. That's a shame, but that's okay. Alright, oh boy. Alright, be careful. Grab uh, these purple coins! Oh my god! Okay. We can't get this purple coins e uh, very easily without without Cappy, can we? Thank you. Okay. Oh my god! Okay. Alright, our last three purple coins are, are uh, coming up, so. Alright, so I have here. Oh my gosh, be careful. Uh, for some reason in my practice file, I missed this, this power move. Because this one's a very easy one to get. If I could get it. There we go. Above this above a strange neighborhood. This neighborhood's a pretty strange one. I will, I will admit. Woo! Okay. Alright, that is all our that is all the purple coins of the Sand Kingdom. That's good. Alright. And uh grab we grab this power moon right here. Alright. Strange neighborhood. Hey, don't leave without me. Don't worry. I definitely have not forgotten about you. So we make our way back down. Okay, so I believe our last of our power moons are gone in Toaster Arena. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and and do that and get them right now. 
All right, so now we have the first introduction to item shops. Now is a good time to explain them uh, now. Actually, never mind. Never mind. Um, so we have the coin shop and the purple coin shop. In the purple coin shop, um, you can uh, get some pretty nice goodies here. You can get yourself a, uh, a, a life up heart, which will extend your HP to six. That's useless. Don't buy these at all. Uh, it's, a, it's a waste of coins if you buy the, if you buy these at all. Uh, we have a power moon, which you obviously want to get, and then we have some outfits. Uh, we have boxer shorts, which cost a thousand coins, very expensive. You can wear them now if you want, which I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna show off all these outfits later. Um, so you can buy the uh, the store the store's um, uh, outfit there to make you look like a little make you look like an employee which looks pretty fun uh, it's always fun to wear that and then now we're gonna buy the power man so uh, this is where coins come into play you want to make sure you get a lot of coins so you have enough to buy pretty much all these items if you if you're gonna go for hundred percent you have to get all these you have to get all of the uh, you have to buy everything from the shops uh, especially in here in the purple coin shop this is where your purple coins are gonna come in come into play you want to go ahead and buy every one of these uh, there's just enough um, items here in the purple coin shops. In every purple coin shop, there's always enough I enough items so that you can spend all of your purple coins. So you have to spend all of them. All right, so we have some uh, figurines as well as some posters here um, that are used to design your Odyssey. And then we have some outfits here, and uh, there is actually a and there are actually some, um, there are actually some, uh, power moons that are, that require certain outfits. And, which, and there is a certain, uh, uh power moon here that requires, uh, the, the, uh, poncho and the sombrero. Alright. So, you want to go ahead and wear them right now. Um, and if you go ahead and head over here, uh, sneak underneath this place, and we get ourselves another Carmen. You might have noticed that earlier when we entered the shop. So there we go. Okay, and um, next up, we have, uh, this is where we need uh, our this outfit. Just, just like us, party like us. That's what we say, anyway. So snap, so snappy hat, check. Snazzy poncho, double check. You are ready to party. Head inside. All right, and he unlocks the door, and we go inside. Uh, this little area. Everybody dance. You dance, and you, and you dance, and you dance. <laughs> oh man, that's always fun. I like that. It's too bad it's like the only time you're ever gonna you're ever gonna hear that. I think. Okay. Um. I just realized I forgot a power moon over at Moai Habitat. Oh my god! I knew there was a reason that I was uh, that I was over there. Oh, oh man. Okay. All right. So this power moon is except is, is is available after you complete all of your all of your main objectives. So uh, see this switch right here? It's no longer frozen. So go ahead and hit this, and this activates another timer challenge. All right, so do so. Go ahead and do that. Oh boy, you want to be fast here too. All right, there we go. Okay, nice. That all right? That was a very unfortunate thing, but I missed that power moon. But um, I mean, thankfully it wasn't too bad. I am gonna be checking uh, to make sure I have all the power moons that, that I can that I can get. Um. Okay. Um. Wow, this part, this uh moon, th wow, this plant's not even ready. That's weird. Um, 
Huh, I wonder how to make that make it so that it's ready. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, there we go. I just had to uh find an area to enter and then enter and then uh, leave it as soon as I could and I guess that's how it I guess that's how you uh, get that to work. I'm not sure. It's kinda weird. How um it's kinda weird how how that ha how that happened. Uh, or how like it didn't it did, uh, I didn't like have enough time for uh, that to give that plant some time to grow. I don't know, it was kinda weird. But anyway That is all the power moons uh here in uh Sand Kingdom that we can get. So um if we're ready, let's go ahead and uh oh by the oh by the way. Um I'm gonna now we can go ahead and show off uh what our Odyssey looks like now that we have um, <coughs> some stuff bought from the shop. So there we go. And then if you look somewhere, okay, yeah, there's the po there's the sticker right there, the Toast Arena sticker. All right. Anyway, uh, we need 16 moons. We have 65 of them, as you can see, because power moons count as as three, and we had three power moons, or we got two power uh, multi moons. All right, here we go. Eighty-four. Okay. So now we have some branching paths. So, uh, which kingdom do we think Bowser's went to? We have the Lake Kingdom and the Wooded Kingdom. I'm gonna say... The Lake Kingdom, because I think that's the third world. So, uh, we're not gonna be skipping worlds this time around, people. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. And, uh, if we go ahead and look on the list here. Um, oh, never mind. Alright. Uh, so, um, now's the time that when you complete certain objectives in other kingdoms, uh, then um, if you go back to some to some of these previous kingdoms um, There are some power moons that are unlockable uh, now um, In uh, Cascade Kingdom and Cat Kingdom. We can actually go back to both these kingdoms for, um, and, and get some power moons now uh, but um, um, I'm gonna save all the backtracking until much later into the let's play where I can actually get all, all, all of the power moons uh, from every kingdom so that I don't have to make it I don't have to keep making making separate trips uh, back and forth every time I complete an objective from a kingdom because um, that would be absolutely ridiculous if I if I were if I were to do it that way uh, so um, I mean of course there are power moons I can get in cap kingdom I can I can I can get them now but uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be doing that at all, uh, for for right now. I'm saving on the backtrack until later. So, um, for now, we're just gonna move on to the Lake Kingdom. So let's do that. All right. Farewell, Sand Kingdom. Mario and his uh, Toasterina outfit. He kidnapped Tiara, and now with this binding band, he's got a, a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, it's real useful skills. Homing cap throw! I know this. It says they're known for their fashion, and oh, there's a famous wedding gown. They're called the Lotch Lady Dress. Oh, that's definitely something Bowser's gonna get for Peach. And, uh, I don't know. Okay, day has passed, and now we are here in Link Lamode. 
Lake Kingdom? Brutals over the lake. Whoa there. The Brutals, they're here too. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well then. Um, that is going to be it for this episode of Super Mario Odyssey. So next time we're going to be exploring the Lake Kingdom. And um, I will say real, uh, really quick that this kind of reminds me more a lot of Zora's Fountain from, uh, or Zora's Domain from uh, Twilight Princess. And uh, you'll understand why. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!